Hey, can you hear me? I can, Derek, yes. Awesome, I got Trent Frazier here. Trent, okay. so we'll have to be quick again and then we'll get coaching here. This is the room I have, so if that tell me he's, he seems, I'm gonna try and turn the back drop off. Can okay. you know, let's, let's just go with it here. So uh, thanks, Trent. We'll start with uh, Joey Wagner. Got Matt Stevens. I don't think it makes any difference, Derek. I think you yep, can do yep, it. I get it. Joey Wagner, start off, and then Matt Stevens, and then uh, Marley. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, Trent. It's been a little bit since we've seen uh, that maybe that kind of those defensive lapses out of you guys. Was there a miscommunication? Was Michigan State doing something? What do you maybe attribute that to? Um, I mean, I mean that's another that's a great basketball team. Um. You can't look at their record. I mean, that, that's an unbelievable basketball team. Um, you know, they, they play the same way they, we play, you know, fast, up-tempo in transition. Um, they really stressed us a lot in transition tonight, I thought. Um, you know, they put a lot of pressure on, at the rim on us. And um, we just, you know, we, we just wasn't our best tonight. Um, you know, we got to learn from this and just get better. Thanks, Trump. Okay, Matt sure. Stevens and then Marley, go ahead. How much did their physicality just affect you tonight? It just seemed like you guys struggled to finish with in, in contact. And, and I think you guys missed your first 12 layups in the first half. Just that doesn't normally happen. And it had to have been just something that happened tonight. Um, a lot. I mean, um, you know, the coaches stressed a lot, you know, that day that we were, we were getting, you know, uh, you know, a hungry, hungry pit bull. Um, you know, uh, they practice with football pads. You know, that's the thing, you know, everyone hears about Michigan State. So, uh, we know what we're getting tonight. Uh, uh, granted to them, you know they they just out they just uh, punched us in the mouth, uh, man. You know we we didn't return. So um, we just like I said, we just got to be better. Uh, we just got to move on to the next game and, and prepare. Thanks, Trent. Appreciate it. Okay, Marley, and then Derek Piper. Go ahead, Marley. Trent, was there a mental hurdle to this? Uh, it seems like it it was just frustrating for you guys, especially when. You know, the shots aren't falling, the calls aren't going your way. How was that for you guys just mentally to deal with? Um, I think, you know, as a basketball player, we got to find other ways, you know, to, you know, get to put the ball in the hoop. Um, and that other way was free throws, where we didn't do a good job tonight with that. So, you know, tonight was just all around, you know, very frustrating, obviously. And it was a tough night for us uh, as a collective. But um, like I said, you know, we have a lot of basketball games this week and, you know, this game doesn't define us. You know, we just got to, um, you know, learn from this and just prepare tomorrow for the next opponent. Thank you. Hey, Derek Piper, Scott Ritchie. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Trent, what have you seen from the free throw issues? Is there something that sticks out as far as why that has been a problem here? I mean, we, we're an elite free throw shooting team. Um, like I said, um, Tonight was off night. You know, sometimes that basketball doesn't go in the hoop. Um, obviously, it's frustrating, but, you know, everyone, you know, 1 through 15, work hard every day, shooting free throws. Like, tonight it just wasn't our night. Um, and I think that's, you know, the conclusion of the game tonight. Uh, it just wasn't our night tonight. And you know, like I said, we just got to learn from this all around and just, you know, and get better tomorrow and prepare for the next team. You guys have talked a lot about the Big Ten title. You need some help with Michigan taking a, a loss or so before you play them. Uh, how do you kind of view that after this game? Um, our vision is national championship. Um, I mean, Big Ten championship, uh, the Big Ten conference, winning the Big Ten conference, is would that, would that, would that have been great? You know, for sure. But um, we have bigger goals. Um, my mindset right now is, you know, continue to just stay focused and continue to try to win games, win as many games as we can. Uh, when we come out every night um, and, and, you know, just we're playing for seeds, you know, and that's the biggest thing. We're trying to, you know, win a national championship. So that's our our mindset and our, you know, our main focus right now. Thanks, Trent. Okay, Scott Ritchie, and then we'll go Larry Lage and then uh, Brandon Simberg. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Trent, no, you know, kind of talked about the frustrations, but it seemed like maybe early they, they kind of boiled over a little bit, but then late, were you able to kind of, as a team, maybe just kind of get centered again and you know try and you know pull off that comeback attempt at least? Um, for sure, you know, um, this is a you know our team fights, you know that's what coaches preach, you know that's what we're all about. Um, but you know when you get down to a, a good basketball team like that, you know um, it, it's it, it, it tends you know to get really really hard because you know 
They have really good good players over there that make tough shots and puts a lot of pressure on our defense. So, like I said, you know, we're never going to quit. We're going to play 40 minutes every night. But, you know, when they, we want to come back. But when they have guys like that that can make tough shots, you know, it gets hard. So we just got to put ourselves in a position early um, to be successful so we don't have to, you know, play from behind. See me up. Go. You were looking for your shot, maybe a little more, just you know, take, maybe taking opportunities. Was that what you felt like you needed to do? Was they when you know, layups were falling to get some jumpers to go? Um, I was just trying to win. You know, help my team win, do whatever it took on offense or defense. Um, but we didn't. So um, uh, that's you know that's the like I said to tell the story. You know, we we only look for games to go in the left column, and tonight wasn't our night. Um, our focus now is Nebraska, so. Larry, you had your hand up. Uh, raise your hand. Do you have a question? OK, we'll skip and go on to Brandon. Go ahead, Brandon Simberg. Trent, uh, Michigan State like really needed this game to kind of keep their tournament hopes alive. Did you feel like they were playing with an extra sense of urgency and desperation? Um, for sure. Um, you know, they, had a, they came out with a lot of energy. Um, you know, coaches stressed that all week, you know, that, that we were getting, you know, you know, top 10 Michigan State team that it, that 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 they were uh, at the beginning of the season. So uh, we knew they were going to be really hungry, you know, to play us. Um, they did a really good job. Like I said, they did really did, they did a really good job, you know, being really physical tonight, you know, stressing our defense in transition and, you know, just making, you know, a lot of ball. So um, I think the biggest thing right now is, you know, there's a lot of games left, five games left for us. Uh, we just got to learn from this one quickly and, you know, continue to, you know, um, strive, you know, strive for you know, our goal. And that's continue to put wins in the left column and, you know, just get better every day. And then they held Kofi to 13 and six. Uh, would they do so well defensively against him? Uh, I mean, I mean, that's going to happen when, you know, we have the best big in the league. Um, even the country, you know, uh, they're going to bring, you know, teams going to bring, Three people at them, you know, make it tough on them every night. Um, I thought, you know, that's what they did tonight. You know, they put a lot of pressure on Kofi tonight, to, you know, um, at the rim to finish over, you know, length. Um, but, you know, like I said, everyone, you know, as a collective, we it wasn't our best tonight. We just got to be better um, and learn from this tomorrow. Okay, Rob McCauley, that, um, if anybody else, Rob, go ahead, Rob. Trent, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get to talk to Io. Did he seem okay to you after he got punched in the face? Yeah, he's fine. You know, um, Io's, you know, competitive, competitive guy. You know, obviously you saw that. He did not get out the game. He wanted to finish the game. Um, he's a winner. That's what, you know, that's what he does. Um, but, yeah, he's fine. Okay, thanks. Okay, we'll follow up and then uh, start wrapping up here. Joey, go ahead. Hey, Trent, you talked about, obviously, on to Nebraska here, but what's the key – to turning the page quickly with, with two more games coming up this week. How do you guys do that? Um, preparation, um, you know, obviously uh, we got to learn from this tomorrow, um, you know, the physicality, um, you know, our defense, we got to, you know, learn from what we, our mistakes we, we had on defense, you know, um, we just got to be tougher, you know, that's the, that's the whole thing. But, you know, obviously, you know, having the chance to play in the basket, you know, very good basketball team. Um, Obviously, we have, you know, an idea of what, what we're getting. So um, it's going to be the same, you know, game, you know. Those guys, are big, they have big, big, big guards, big guys. And, you know, we're everyone's Super Bowl. So, you know, we're getting the same hungry in the basket team we had when we played there. So uh, we just got to come in ready tomorrow, um, learn from this game, and just prepare. Thanks, Trent. All right. Thank you, Trent. Uh, we'll see you back in Champaign. We'll go ahead and switch over to Coach when he gets to the seat. Thank you, Trent.